Hello my dear friends, welcome to IMS Gate Academy. My name is Saurav Padhyay and in this video we are going to discuss the PGG that is the post gate guidance program details for two institutes, I should say the two premier institutes of our country as far as higher education is concerned that is IISC Bangalore and IIT Bombay. Yes my dear friends, it has been one of the dream institutes for the higher education once you qualify with good marks in gate examination. So my dear friends, what can you expect from this video? So we will be discussing first the cutoffs as far as your mechanical engineering is concerned. Then we will see what are the placements opportunities in these institutes. And finally, we will be seeing what are the courses that are available in these institutes as far as the mechanical branch is concerned. Right? Not only that, we will also discuss that what are the other programs that you can take in these two institutes. Right? So my dear friends, let's get started. So my dear friends, as you can see that IISC Bangalore, the NIRF ranking is 2 as far as the overall category is concerned. Fine. My dear friends, in IISC, as far as the mechanical and interdisciplinary mechanical is concerned, the number of intake is 21 and the process interview is basically 70% gate scorecard and 30% interview. Yes, so you can expect a very good interview, you know, round as far as this is, you know, IIC is concerned. And these are the areas of study in mechanical engineering. So, solid mechanics, FEM, you know, CAD, non-linear dynamics, vibration and etc etc etc. You can see as far as third 19 you know areas of study are there. So you can go over there and you can select as far as your you know you know as your interest wherever interest you are lying you can select one of these. Very important my dear friends this will give you a very very clear idea that what is the cutoff requirement as far as you know the branches are concerned and my dear friends see one thing this this table will give you a very clear idea very clear idea that not only mechanical but I have included all those branches all those branches in which you can go after giving mechanical paper yes so mechanical engineering obviously your interest will be mechanical engineering in mechanical engineering if you have to go so you can go by giving three papers ME, PI and XE. For example, if you have to go for aerospace engineering, so ME, you can write ME paper and go over there and others I have written because other branches can also go over there. So I can say these are the interdisciplinary branches and I have included that also. My dear friends, as far as these numbers are concerned in the cutoff, I have taken the lowest score. That means the last person, last student to take a admission in this branch in mechanical in general category had a mark of 733. Similarly, under EWS section, the last student to take admission had a cut of marks of 668 and similarly for OBC and for SC and ST. So this table will give you a very very clear idea my dear friends. So as, as far as your aerospace is concerned, let's say I am talking about the general category, the last person to take admission had a score of 843. Similarly for CP, you know, data science, computational program data science, 878. Similarly for semiconductor, which has been, you know, very, you know, hot area of interest as far as your India is concerned, right? India aims to be a manufacturing hub as far as semiconductor devices are concerned. So the, you know, the cutoff was 638. For smart manufacturing, 702. For robotics and autonomous system, general category 693, last student to take admission, mobility engineering 687, earth and climate science 531. So whatever branches I have written, firstly, your, you know, prime interest will be that, you know, you will want to go to mechanical engineering, but in case if you have want other interest or your mechanical you know, the cutoffs is not satisfying and you still want to study in IISC, so you can consider these branches, right? 
So yeah, it's possible, totally possible that you don't want to study mechanical, you want to study aerospace engineering. So yeah, why not? You can definitely go over there, right? So this is the overall scenario. My dear friends, this is the final placement data for the 2022-23. Yes, the highest CTC offered was 86 LPA. The median CTC offered was 28 LPA. As far as your internship placement is concerned, the highest stipend offered was 1.5 LPA, sorry, lakhs per month, and average stipend offered was 72,000 per month. Right? Not bad. Definitely not bad. Yes. These are the visiting companies, my dear friends. And can you see your dream company over here? Can you recognize our dream company over here? Yes. So, you know, it's a known fact that when you go, once you go to IC Bangalore, you need not worry about the placements, my dear friends. Automatically, everything will happen on its own. You just need to focus on the coursework over there. Right. Now, my dear friends, what about IIT Bombay? Yes, for some, IIT Bombay is a dream. With NIRF ranking as 4, what are the specializations that is offered in IIT Bombay? So you can clearly see that thermal and fluid engineering, design engineering and manufacturing engineering are the specializations for under mechanical, under mechanical, right? What about the cutoff? For cutoff, thermal and fluid engineering had a cutoff of 654. That means the last student to take admission was had a score of 654. In design, it was 814. In manufacturing, it is 618. And similarly, you know, other students who falls in respective categories can check their marks. And this is not the highest marks. This is the lowest marks that I'm talking about. The last student to take admission in respective branches. Right? So, uh, overall, I have not, here I have not included the you know, interdisciplinary branches. I'm basically talking about the main branches. Okay. So more or less you can, you means if you want to go to interdisciplinary, then you can definitely inquire in the portal, in the site. But I think you will be interested majorly over in these, the core mechanical, you know, specializations. My dear friends, see the placement criteria in IIT Bombay as far as the 22-23 is concerned. In totality, in MTech, the registered students was 583. Participated was 532. Student placed was 479. So overall, we can say that, you know, 90% was the, 90% was the percentage of students getting placed, right? And these are the, you know, some of the companies that has, you know, visited IIT Bombay. In 2021, the number of students placed in MTech program was 406. In 2022, the student place was 523. And in 2023, 479 students were placed in total MTech. I'm talking about not in mechanical, total MTech. Mechanical also I'll talk. Okay. And here it is. In mechanical, the total number of students participated was 35. Placed 34, close to 100%. And here I have included interdisciplinary branches. That means students who can also take admissions, means who will also want to take admissions, some in industrial engineering, some in aerospace, or some in metallurgy. Yes, mechanical students take admission in these branches. There is no, you know, issue at all. So you can clearly see the placement statistics that if 49 students participated, 46 got placed, 36 participated, 30 got placed, 13 participated, 11 got placed, close to, you know, more than 80% students' placements have been done, right? Not at all bad. This is not at all bad, right? Yes. Here you can see, my dear friends, sector-wise placements I have written. Sector-wise placement. Sector-wise means in analytics, consulting, data science, design, education, engineering, tech, finance, software, PSUs, product management, research, development, services, others. So, sector-wise, I've written that, okay, in 2022-23, that is the last year, how many students have been selected? So, clearly, I can see that engineering and technology have the highest number of students, that is 213, right? And similarly, you know, different, different sectors are 
you know students it's all about your choice in which sector you want to go that is totally dependent on you right so my dear friends this is it i hope that i have you know uh, talked about here all those things which you will need when you get your gate score card right you will first need cutoffs you will check about the placements and you will see what are the courses offered over there right so i hope that this video has helped you a lot so stay tuned for more such videos till then take care bye Thank you.